hey guys what's going on welcome back to the channel again uh i know it's been a while i haven't uploaded a video i'm sorry i haven't kept you guys updated but i'm back um today i'm going to be talking about dash cams and why you should have one why it's important to have one and on the cases of how it can save you um i had a little event go on this weekend um it was actually an accident um one of my cars my 2016 dodge charger 57 it was um in an accident it wasn't my fault at least from my point of view and from other witnesses that were there in the accident in the scene um luckily i had my dash cam so it caught everything on video uh, i'm not gonna go too much into detail on it on what happened because i'm still waiting on insurance and everything um you know to be said and done but i'll give you guys um, a look of the damage that is done to my vehicle and it's down for now sadly um i don't know how long it's gonna take because i know it's a lot harder for people to get parts nowadays with everything going on so it might just be sitting for a while um hopefully i get some good news and everything runs smoothly get it back on the road but um good thing i still have this car i'm in my uh, srt right now um thank god it didn't happen in this car because this one is um doesn't really get taken out much like that the other one i've had it for quite a while but first first and foremost um thanks to everybody who reached out to me on instagram facebook whatever and made sure i was okay uh, i did have my wife and my kid in the back seat um my kid's barely six months so it really um scared me there for a bit because i know every anybody who's a parent um you want to make sure your kid's safe and nothing ever happens to them um that's what i was most worried about i know back then maybe a few years ago when i didn't have my kid the cars were probably a little bit more important to me but now um i have somebody else i gotta focus on which is my kid and my wife and hoping they're safe and luckily everything was um was good it wasn't um wasn't as bad as it could have been but i'm just glad uh, we all walked out safe and nobody was hurt but yeah i'm gonna talk about this dash cam that i have in that car i'm gonna be installing one in this car because like i said you never know it's good to have it even if you don't encounter anything there's always a lot of people out there driving um you know insane crazy and a lot of the times if it's your word against somebody um people won't believe you unless you have footage which for example let's say you're at a stoplight and um the person in front of you accidentally puts it in reverse or puts it in reverse because they went too far ahead of the line and they don't see you and they'll hit you and they can call the police and blame it on you saying that you rear-ended them which that probably wasn't the case but if you have footage of that showing that they put it in reverse backed up into you then obviously you can show that to the police and say hey that wasn't my fault you know have a dash cam they ran into me which because most cases if you hit somebody from the back um it's most likely always your fault unless you can prove that it wasn't but like I said, this video is going to be about the dash cam. I'll talk a little bit about my car, um, the accident. I'll show you guys the damage, but that's pretty much going to be it. I'm going to make another video um, separate from this about my car and everything, what happened, how it went, dash cam footage, and what's next for the car. But before um, we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll try and keep you guys updated a little more about the car and what's going to be happening or the process that it's going to take me to get it fixed. But yeah, thanks again for stopping by and make sure you check out this video. Um, watch the whole video and leave a like or comment down what you think about the video. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so starting this video off with uh, this is the, I believe it's called Pazdio dash cam 4K and Wi-Fi. Um, like I said, I already have this in my um, 5.7. Um, decided to pick up another one because I really like it. It's simple, easy to wire. Um, so you get your camera itself. Let me turn on these lights so you guys can see a little better. But yeah, here's your camera itself. It's got a little LCD screen on the front. And it's got the 3M adhesive where you can mount to your windshield anywhere you want to mount it and then it also comes with uh, your basic manual it comes with the sd card which is uh, 32 gigabytes which is good it's already included you don't have to go out and buy one 
And then it's got your instructions, like I said, all that stuff, but it's pretty much plain and simple. You get your hardware here. Let's see if I can get it. It's basically a long cable. I think it's Type C connection, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so like Type C, like GoPros, um, some Samsung phones, I believe. It's fairly long. I'm not sure how long it is. I want to say like 15 feet, if not longer, but. It gives you this um, connection. It's already wired to like a cigarette port. So you can plug this in over here and you still have another connection right there for your phone if you want to charge your phone or whatever. Um, you can also hardwire this in the instructions. They give you a link um, in here where you can order the hardwire kit and you can get all crazy with that and you know have the dash cam running while the car is off you know it's got motion detection i believe and also like bump detection so if somebody bumps into your car or hits your car while you're not in it it'll detect that start recording also another good thing i like about this camera is so whenever the way i have it plugged in is i have it plugged in right here and it's always run it starts to record as soon as i turn the car on um but like I said, if you want it continuous running while the car is off, you can hardwire it. There's another video for that. I'm not going to be doing that in this one. But also, if you guys are charger owners, I'm not sure how the Challenger works. But I know this one only um, gives you power when the car is in run or, or um, an on position. But there is another port in here in the center console. That one's powered by the battery. So if you plug it in, if you can plug it in through there hide the wires then that one will always be running so it'll be like a hard wire basically and i haven't tried it like that i'm not sure if it'll drain your battery i want to say it's not because like i said i have some lights on my car and badges and i usually leave them running overnight and they don't use a battery this probably doesn't use as much battery either so just in case or let's say you're parked somewhere and you want to let it run while you're at the store or something then just unplug it from here and plug it in here it'll be recording also this camera um it's got you know you go through the settings and stuff but once let's say you're, you you want to save a video you click a button it'll save it as an event and then you can go back to it and watch it you don't have to go through all the other events on there or videos that it's recorded you can record up to three minutes max per video or one minute um, there's a lot of stuff in there like I said the owner's manual it'll tell you everything about it but um, as long as you don't have any videos on there that you want to save or let's say you want to delete them you don't have to worry about deleting them and stuff because it'll start overwriting the old videos once the memory is full so you're good you know if you want to go through them and delete them yourself that's fine but like I said if you click the one button at the bottom it'll save whatever you want saved at that time as an event it'll be saved in a separate folder within the app and you don't have to worry about that being overwritten because it won't overwrite it because it's saved but yeah you can uh, download the app as well there's an app I'll show you guys here in a bit um, how it works and what it does but um, you can't I can't complain with this this I uh, bought it on Amazon I believe it was around 70 to 80 dollars the price changes um, every day or every week it's um, they give you like a 10 or 15 percent off discount code on Amazon if you check out but yeah you can't complain there's I know there's a bunch of other ones that's got GPS and all this crazy stuff on it um, you know I could have went with that but I just wanted to try this out and see you know because some of those dash cams you can go with like two front rear um it's got all these other goodies and stuff but it usually runs you about three to four hundred dollars maybe a bit more uh, I just wanted something where I needed something quick and you know put it on my uh windshield and get going and this was perfect you know I couldn't complain but let's go ahead and get this uh, set up. I'll get it turned on and then I'll put it on my windshield and show you guys pretty much how I uh, wired it and how I hid the wires. But let me go ahead and get this set up real quick and then I'll show you guys. All right, so I got it on already. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see, but like I said, the instructions are in there, but I kind of know how to do this already. So that's Wi-Fi enabled with the push of a button and then I'll go on my phone 
and I'll search the Wi-Fi for it. I think this is it. Uh, you gotta enter a password. So I forgot what the password was. I know it was something simple, but it should all be the same. So you gotta put a password, and I think it was like one, two, three, up to eight. So you click join. Once it's joined, then you go to the app. It's called, um, here it is. I think that's it. Somewhere on here. Time uh, Cam, I believe is what it's called. So, if it'll focus. But that's what it is. So, then you connect to DVR connect device that'll show on there so you can see I'm moving the camera and you can see the movement and the quality is pretty good I'll throw some videos up on this um, video when I'm done of the dash cam in use with my other car but the video isn't bad it's pretty good quality and there's also like it's already recording so you got to stop recording so the settings here, you can change the resolution. You can take pictures, collision sensor, low, medium, high, uh, record time. Like I said, one minute up to three minutes. Um, and then it starts recording another set. Uh, record on, it's got all these other stuff. Auto record, water, time watermark, parking monitor. You can leave that on high. And before anything, you wanna always format the SD card just so you can uh you won't have any issues when it's trying to record so that's done so yeah that's pretty much it you know the quality like i said is good i don't know if you guys can pick it up really good on camera if it's focusing but quality is not bad let me go ahead and get this set up um where i'm gonna put it and then i'll show you guys the end results as far as the wiring and stuff all right guys so i went ahead and wired it kind of running out of time here but um Pretty much, I uh, set it right there and I ran the wire up here and I hit it up there. You can see a little bit. And then I ran it to the pillar right here, all the way down to the side. You can't see any wiring because it's all hidden right there. Then I came down here and it's basically all under this part right here. So there's no wires hanging. The only wire you can see is probably this because I hit it down here as well and then it's connected to the um, cigarette port like I, like I mentioned so you can still utilize that and plug your charger in and um, charge your phone or whatever uh, there's still a lot of extra slack cable that's under here so you can always pull that out and like I said if you wanted to run it right here then you could in the center console but that's pretty much it um very easy to wire um i didn't do a video because um i only got enough hands to record and set up the camera but that's pretty much it um i'll show you guys clips of what it looks like from my other car because i won't be driving out now it's kind of dark but it does have night vision and it's fairly um you know good quality as well but i'll throw in some clips from my other car um video footage and let you guys decide on what you guys think if this is a good um investment or if you should buy this or just go ahead and spend four or five hundred dollars and get yourself an expensive one but yeah i'll throw in the clips and i'll let you guys decide uh, let me know what you guys think um uh, make sure you like comment subscribe and um i'll show you guys um some video footage of my vehicle with the damage like i mentioned earlier and i'll put I'll give you guys an update on that as well uh, make sure you guys follow me on instagram because i'll probably post stuff on there first before i do it on youtube but thanks again for you guys that are returning um watching my videos that have not unsubscribed um thanks for sticking around i'll make sure to make more content here in the future i just want to make this uh, video on this dash cam because like i said it's everyone should have one it uh, doesn't matter if it's you know expensive one or this one but everybody should have one it'll save yourself some trouble in the future if you need it um but yeah let me get back to um 
recording of the footage of my vehicle and we'll leave from there. Alright guys, so it's pretty much the damage. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. It's getting dark out here and um, I haven't got a uh, light. I'm using my flash. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all the damage. As you can see, if you step over on this side, this side looks good, you know. And you come over here, the headlights busted, the whole bumper is um, cracked, chipped. Um, Fog lights still work, but everything else is cracked. The fog lights are scratched up. I have this piece too, it's all messed up. My side markers are cracked too. It's gone. Uh, this whole inner um, plastic fender, where the fender is, it's broken. The tab is broke. And then if you guys can see from an angle, this side fender is also um, bent and it need to get replaced. But yeah, we're, and the hood is probably slightly raised as well. So I think the whole bumper, hood, side panel is going to need to get replaced. Um, unfortunately, my wheels too, they got pretty banged up. They're not bad, but you can see it's kind of scratched curbed. And then um, when the accident happened, the, there was some fluids leaking, but it wasn't nothing serious. It was just my uh, wiper fluid from the tank. I think it busted and just leaked all over the place. But that, as far as damage, that's all that I can see from the outside. I don't know if there's any frame damage or any further damage within the engine bay. That's something that um, we're going to have to figure out and see. Uh, I don't know what they're going to say, how much the damage is worth, but well, it's probably going to be quite a bit because this whole front end is going to have to get replaced. The headlights ain't cheap either, but it just sucks, you know, but it is what it is. Like I said, at least I'm alive, I'm safe, my family is safe, and that's all that matters. This stuff can get replaced, but it, like, it's going to take a while, I'm sure, because parts are getting hard to get nowadays, but I will make another video as far as uh, keep you guys updated on what's wrong with it uh, the whole list of damages that's done to the vehicle um, I'll put in I'll put in the dash cam footage as well I won't put it in this video I'll do a separate video for this but I'll keep you guys updated and um, yeah so I don't know how long it's gonna be to get this car back on the road but it's gonna be sitting out cuz like I said, the headlights messed up and I'm not going to be driving around like this, you know, I don't want to, maybe there's something wrong that's a lot more worse and I don't know and I'm just going to be driving out. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to take it out. We'll just have to get it fixed, but that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks again for joining. Uh, like, comment, subscribe and for the next video, peace.